it's Megas Flute here with another Wonder Draft tutorial. This time we're going to go over the creation of rivers. Before I start laying down rivers, I tend to get to about this point in my map where all the land has been determined. For me personally, it's easier to tell where rivers need to be once you have the general geography of your world. To create a river, you want to go to the water tab and select the river tool. Left clicking where you want the start of the river to be brings up a preview of the river. This isn't actually on the land yet and if you press escape right now it cancels. Every subsequent click on the river helps make a bend until you want to end the river with either double click or right click at which point it bakes it into the land. To erase a river, go to the freshwater eraser and click drag over the river. When you're making a river, there are a few hotkeys that you should know. Mouse wheel up and down increases the width of the river. This allows you to start with a narrow river and then midway through in a second segment, increase the width slowly until you get a wide river at the end. While you are creating a river, you can also hold down shift and mouse wheel up or down to cycle through the different versions of the river. There are two options while you're creating your river that can help you style your river. If you lower your roughness, it can make it smoother. And if you increase your roughness, it can look more realistic. If you lower your meander distance, it will become straighter and if you increase your meander distance it will make wider bends. Once you are ready to start drawing your rivers you should determine the scale in which you're going to be drawing in. At a world map like this I recommend only drawing the most significant rivers. So for Earth that would be on the scale of the Amazon, Nile, Yangtze or Danube or something like that. I wouldn't go too far detailed, otherwise you would clutter your world. Now for my process, first thing I want to do is identify where the sources of the rivers are going to be. In this case, it's going to be these mountain ranges and determine the ends of the rivers which are likely going to dump somewhere along this coast or maybe even down here. Because rivers help split your continents into several regions, I personally don't like having too many rivers on a continent, at least at least scale. I think I will go with two in this particular continent. One starting around right here with a lower roughness and meander distance. And have it curve in this general direction before it dumps out into this bay and then having another one that starts out smaller that follows this range increasing in width as it goes before it exits here. Once you've established your main rivers you should put in tributaries that feed into the river. These should be lower in width compared to the major rivers. Because rivers change the climate in their proximities, I personally like to add some greenery along the rivers. While you're creating rivers, there are several considerations that you should think about. Uh, one is that rivers very rarely diverge, so you will most likely have tributary systems and not bifurcations, except for near the mouth. These are called deltas, and I want to show you how to create one now. Go to your river tool and disable the source fade in. This will allow you to create rivers without that initial fade in. 
Now you want to pick a generally good size, zoom in on the mouth of the river, and lower the meander distance. And now you can click away, creating splits along the ends of the river. Some closing thoughts on making rivers at their source with the aggressive flow rates they tend to have more sharp bends and less predictability as they go towards the sea they mellow out look more serpentine and has wide meandering bends if you have man-made dams in your world they tend to be in the middle thirds of the rivers the high elevations are too hard to build in, and the low elevations have too many people living in them. It would displace too many people when they dam the river. To make a dam, select your lake tool and choose the appropriate brush size and lower the roughness. Pick a good section to dam. I would hold down shift and mouse wheel up and down to cycle through different variations until something that looks reasonable.